to walk through a basic use of the logic functions on the Rene. The master clock is the gate output of the function. It's clocking the X clock input on the Rene. It's also molted to the strike input on channel 2 of the Optimix, so we can hear the steady pulse of the master clock regardless of what we do with the logic functions. That's the steady sawtooth bass from DPO oscillator 1. The mod input is fed by the gate output from pressure points. This will make it very easy to see how the mod input affects things at various settings. To start we have all X logic disabled. Now every pulse received at the X clock input both advances the clock and outputs a gate at the X gate output. Enabling clock and mod means the clock won't advance unless the signal is present in both the clock and mod inputs. So the sequence only starts again when the pressure point's gate is high. Clock or mod means a rising edge on either input advances the clock. So while the function's gate is low, we can insert clock movements via the pressure points. The clock XOR mod is an exclusive OR, meaning if either signal is present, the clock will advance, but not if both signals are present. Holding gate high on the mod input has the effect of inverting the clock. We can still tap out extra clocks between function gates. The next row is gate logic. These take the same inputs as the clock logic, but they do not affect the movement of the X clock, only the X gate. To demonstrate, we'll mult the quantized output to oscillator 1. With gate and mod, the clock moves, but no gate is output unless both the clock and mod inputs are high. With gate or mod, either input can produce a gate output, but the mod input does not advance the clock. Contrast this with the clock or mod function. Finally, with gate exclusive or mod, either input but not both at once can produce a gate. All three functions are the same, AND, OR, exclusive OR, but their inputs are the X and Y clock inputs. I've disengaged all but the first row on the access page, so the Y clock won't actually move us around on the Y axis. hear the effect of a fast stream of gates from a second function. These examples have shown each logic function on its own with simple and predictable input sources. By varying the gates you send to Renee's inputs, and creatively using the access and gate pages, you can easily come up with endless variations on a sequence.